More than a year after it launched on PS4, Final Fantasy VII Remake has made its way onto PS5 with a shiny upgrade. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade is an expanded version of the game with DualSense enhancement, a photo mode, and graphical improvements that remove some of the original release's questionable textures, making everything look gorgeously shiny and new. Best of all though, getting your hands on Intergrade on PS5 means that it comes bundled with Episode Intermission, a standalone adventure taking place alongside the main campaign starring Yuffie Kizaragi, the exuberant ninja whose endless confidence, motion sickness, and tendency to take things that don't belong to her made a whole generation of FF7 fans fall hopelessly in love with her. She's back with her own mini-adventure in Intermission, with a brand new combat style that builds on her ninja agility and skill, meaning she's lightning quick and able to fight up close or at long range. She's joined on this adventure by Sonon Kusakabe, another ninja from Wutai, who can synergize with Yuffie provided they both have ATB charges, meaning that they can team up for some very flashy attacks. Sonon is actually a brilliant addition to the DLC, his calm and patient demeanor is the perfect big brother energy that Yuffie really needs, and their chemistry is just really, really great. The DLC may be short, but it is well worth playing. It features some incredible moments between characters, a very Moorish Fort Condor minigame, and it gives a tantalizing glimpse at what's next for the series. I loved it, and I wanted to know more about it, so no big deal, but I had a chat with Susie Young, who plays Yuffie Kizaragi herself. Some mild spoilers for the DLC ahead. Enjoy! <laughs> my, my, my. How the tables have turned. It's awesome to meet you, Susie. I am I'm a little bit like, oh my god, it's actual Yuffie. I get to meet actual Yuffie. I have to say it right off, I thought you were the perfect Yuffie. Um, you're absolutely amazing. Like, so, so, so good. Like, she's all about, you know, that that energy and um, that sort of attitude and her confidence. And it just, yeah, I thought it was like, yeah, spot on. So, um, thank, you. thank you so much. Um, yeah, I guess, like, just so, sort of to start off, um, how, did you know at the time that you were auditioning for Yuffie? Um, I did because I did have the image and her name as well. Oh, wow. Um, so it was it was a very surprising moment for me <laughs> to get that audition. So yes, honestly, I didn't prepare too much. Um, you know, looking at the the sides, um, I just sort of went with my heart, basically, like went with my gut instincts on what I thought um, she would sound like in the world um, because I had actually seen footage of Final Fantasy VII Remake before. Oh, so okay. I, yeah, I, I had been watching my friends play it, mm. um, so I kind of already got a sense of what the tone was, but it, it was a little bit of a challenge because she's also very animated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> trying to find that balance between um, the grounded, realistic performances of uh, the original cast mm -hmm. um, for the game and then trying to bring her energy in was a, a sort of a balancing act. <laughs> Definitely, but I think that's why it works so well because, you know, Cloud, he, she's almost like, you know, the opposite of Cloud in so many ways because they're all very <laughs> serious and very, like, focused mm -hmm. on the mission. And even, like, I mean, Yuffie was always so expressive because I remember playing the original game and it was all about her little <laughs> animation yeah. like you could tell her character <laughs> just from that one little animation um mm -hmm. and that's why it's so cool to see like that brought to life even more but yeah i guess it must have been that sort of you know trying to have that balance between her being exuberant and boisterous but not yes. being overly annoying which i think like right. you you, d you worked really well at too because that could have been you know difficult to sort of get right yeah and um i definitely wasn't alone in sort of shaping that with her. Um, I had a lot of help with um, with the director, uh, Kirk Thornton. Um, he he um, guided me mm -hmm. throughout this process and trying to sort of rein it down and, and make sure that it didn't go way over the top, which she can be. Yeah. But, um, we want to make it blend in with the rest of the game as well. So you said you kind of went with your heart in the audition process, um, and you obviously had an idea of how you wanted the character to be. What kind of direction did they give you? Was it was did it all kind of was it more or less the same or or what did they sort of say? Yeah, it was um they described her 
if I can remember. Um, basically, the the same kind of personality that I expected her to have, mm -hmm. which was um, very peppy and spunky. Um, but at the same time, they didn't want super anime reads, which um, I, I totally got, because mm. um, the you know the remake game did not have any of that kind of uh, performance. So uh, I just did what I thought would work, and uh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and how does how do the voiceover sessions actually work? Are you in there solo, or do you get to bounce off anyone at the time? I actually went in during, you know, obviously COVID times, so mm -hmm. they took very good care of me. They were very uh, safe mm -hmm. in making sure that I was separated from the engineer and the director who were in separate rooms. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we essentially just recorded solo. I didn't have any dialogue to really bounce off of, so I was relying heavily on um, Kirk and the localizer to just sort of guide me through like what's going on and um, all of that. So. That's kind of amazing though, because I think one of the things that really shines in the DLC is Yuffie and Sonon's chemistry. It's incredible, like, because both you and Alex Lee are so, so good. So had you heard any of his dialogue at all before, before like, the game came out? Uh-uh. I didn't wow. even know, like, <laughs> who it was. I think the only time I heard him was when they were trying to check a file or something <laughs> and to make sure that it, it bounced off correctly with, with what I did. Um, so that was, there was only one instance. Um, wow, so. that's really, that is kind of incredible because you would think like, you would think that you guys had spent like loads of time together in the recording booth because it's just so perfectly balanced. And so like, what were some of your favorite scenes to, to do in the booth? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> I feel like every scene with Yuffie is so fun. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think one of the funniest scenes was when, um, in the first chapter like she was uh they were being approached by these goons and they're like oh like look at you like this cutie over here or something <laughs> like that and she thinks that if they're talking about her she's like oh my god really and then they just walk right past her <laughs> so i thought that was really funny i think my favorite one was um when she finally reveals like her iconic outfit oh, yeah it's so mm -hmm. so good and it, it must have yeah. been because did you see any kind of previs for that at all or was that like kind of just just ham it up and see what it's going to turn out like yeah, it was, um, I got a grayscale, like, in progress kind of video. Um, there was no expressions or anything, just the, the blocking mm -hmm. movement. Um, so I saw that, and we also had the Japanese track to sort of guide us along. Um, so I got the feel of what it was supposed to be, and it was certainly very <laughs> presentational. <laughs> and that was really fun to do as well. Did you find the, the scenes towards the end a bit more difficult? Because, like, I guess spoilers for everyone watching, but, uh, it, you know, she's so confident and so positive for most of the DLC. And then there's some quite emo emotional scenes towards the end um, yeah. that she, you know, it, it's a very different uh, track for her. Yeah. Um, it. I guess, like, I don't know if difficult is the word I would use, but it was um, definitely in a different place mm. that she was the whole, the whole game. Um, but I'm, I'm so lucky that I got to experience that with her. Um, I was kind of shocked myself. I was like, w w what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I did cry. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, just being in that moment because I was living that with her, mm -hmm. I felt like I was more able to just act it out yeah. like with her, you know, it, it felt, it felt real because yeah. I was feeling it too. It really, really works too, because honestly, I was ready, I was coming in ready to not become attached to Sonon because, you know, he's not an OG character. He, you know, well, basically just that, you know, as an old school fan, you're ready to be like very you know, judgy of anything that's coming in that's new, but he's so, so good. And like they, I think for such a small, story arc you you know there's an incredible sort of journey there that you know you really feel the connection uh towards the end with yuffie as well and you did a really good job at selling that for sure <laughs> thank you um would you have uh if if yuffie was you know not an option would you have an ideal party for final fantasy 7 if you were playing it oh if she wasn't an option mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely like i would play her as, uh, <laughs> um, as the main character because i played through the first yeah um, episode of the, the first chapter and she's so fun to play she really like, is 
I just love how she can do close range and like long range combat, like just so easy and so fluid. Um, but also like really fun and challenging. So yeah. that and then Cloud has to be in my party. <laughs> and maybe it's like between Tifa and Aerith, it depends on the situation. I am <laughs> I am one hundred percent a Tifa girl and I always oh, will be. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tifa till I die for sure. But um yeah. what what was it like joining the community for, you know, one of the most beloved games that ever I guess you know it must have been quite a treat coming into that a little bit daunting yeah I was super nervous because I wasn't sure what the reception would be I knew that uh Yuffie was a very loved character mm. and um but I'm, I'm so happy and fortunate that the community seems to be welcoming me um so yeah it's been such a heartwarming experience and I'm uh, so glad that everyone's so supportive and so grateful. Yeah, and the fan art's been amazing as well. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes, yes. You gotta get yes. some of that framed for sure. Because you mentioned as well that you've been playing it a little bit um, and I think you were you were playing it, you were streaming it for your birthday, happy birthday by the way. Yeah, um, <laughs> but uh, but what what is that like? I think I'm seeing more and more voice actors kind of trying that out. I mean, Alex Lee has been doing it as well. Um, yeah. Do you like? Do you see more and more voice actors kind of dipping their toe into that? Is it because it must be beneficial for you as, as well as enjoyable for people to watch? Because it is great fun to watch voice actors. Yeah, I um I didn't start streaming until maybe like a month or so ago. Um, so I'm still very new to it. Um, and then it was mainly to just experience that with. The, the fans and um, everybody who just loves the games that mm -hmm. uh, I voice in. And it's just a fun experience. Like I didn't really expect to get too much out of that, honestly, other than just connecting with the community and um, having fun. Yeah. And it is lovely as well to, to get those sort of immediate reactions like from yeah. the fans and from yourself too. And only streaming yeah. can really do that, which is why it's amazing. Um, but would you have any uh, tips I guess for voice actors or get into to your line of work I don't know like if, if you really like to do it if you like to act um, I would say just go for it uh, I it, it's kind of hard to say because I didn't really come from a traditional path of uh, you know taking classes or, <laughs> or things like that I kind of fell into it because I, I loved uh, video games and like cartoons and all of that so I just kind of let that passion guide me um, and have other voice actors and actors inspire me to sort of go forth mm. and i think that if, if you really like what you do then um you know just put your heart into it um work hard and hopefully you'll make it <laughs> <laughs> are there any um are there any sort of og yuffie scenes that you would be really excited about uh about doing in the future uh well, I've only seen a few, but I did see a golden saucer scene. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Where she's with Cloud. <laughs> and my friends who are also fans of Final Fantasy VII, they're like, you are so lucky that you may get to be in that sort of scene. And I was like, oh my. <laughs> It is just that yeah, it must be a dream role, honestly, for a voice actor, just because like, it's just that those, those because I think it's such a loved game, but obviously the voice acting mm -hmm. element was missing from the original. So mm -hmm. to be able to put your your stamp on it and, and sort of bring that to life for fans for the first time in many ways, it must be exciting. Oh yeah, it's super exciting. I'm so lucky. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I had Yuffie's luck material this whole time. <laughs> so. Which she probably stole from someone, let's be honest. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> awesome, well, thank you so much, Susie. It's been lovely to chat to you. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate Materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche! Your full support! We got this! Hello, members of Avalanche. Where are you? 